Hello YouTube. Today today's ride heading downtown and I just got on my ride and there is smoke everywhere so I don't know what's burning. Something is burning. I hope everybody's okay. So uh, we're in the middle of June, almost the middle of June. I'm heading downtown Vancouver and I'm gonna meet up with uh, my buddy. Shout out to my buddy Nandan. And then we, uh, we're gonna go for a ride. So uh, sit back, relax and enjoy. Today we're riding the uh, Motoguchi aka Bello Grizzo. Uh, this is, uh, as I said before, this bike is very special, very dear to my heart. That's why I call it Bello Grizzo and it's a heat. And uh, most of my bikes are basically uh, a he except the Vara. The Vara is a she. I don't know why, but that's just uh, the way it happened with namings. I always name my rides. So this one is Bello Grizzo. You guys familiar with this? Uh, this is not a tourer, not a naked, not a sports bike. And I think I remember one gentleman on YouTube called it a gentleman's bike. So today we're riding Bello Grizzo. Uh, what do I like about this bike? Uh, by the way, this is the 1100. Uh, there is another version, the 8 valve, and that's the 1200. I'm riding the 1100. I think it has uh, close to 100 horsepower, and you guys can look it up. Uh, this is an 07 model. Uh, basically, what you see is what you get. There's no electronics, there is nothing, you know. No ABS, no stability control basically not even a fuel gauge which is uh which is very common amongst uh, italian bikes from this era it's changing and it changed of course but uh and if uh, if you guys don't know this moto guzzi uh, got purchased by the piaggio group the piaggio group owns aprilia they opened vespa they own uh, moto guzzi and of course, uh, they also go with the Piaggio brand, uh, and that's the Piaggio MP3 500 that I ride as well, and uh, which I love, by the way. I said that before many times. It's my favorite place, uh, my favorite bike to actually ride and scoot in the city. Um, so back to the Moto Guzzi, Bello Grizzo. What do I like about this bike? This bike is very unique. Um, and for uh, for people who ride Moto Guzzi's, since the engine is mounted at a different angle, it feels like the bike is alive. It's, it's a weird feeling, I can't explain it. You have to ride this bike to feel it. Uh, it's clear. Ah, uh, the sound is raw. I see a lot of people changing the mufflers and there they put this arrow skinny whatever mufflers I think you guys are wrong uh, the original muffler that comes with the Grizzo is is beautiful I don't know why you guys are you know massacring your design a lot of designers actually spent time and effort and and uh, and a lot of hours basically designing a beautiful perfect looking bike and then people go and they just throw off the design that's one issue the second issue is uh with changing the mufflers is like if you restrict you restrict your muffler uh then you're you're adding a little bit of back pressure on the engine it's not very good for the engine um those are the two major things that I can think of design and engine issues and then of course you throw off the sound the sound as is is beautiful I don't know why people change the sound honestly so these are uh, this is my quick rant on the on the Grizzo also the Grizzo came from uh, a famous movie Italian movie 
Um, I think the movie takes place in Lake Como, Northern Italy. And then a uh, monster of the movie call, it was called the Grizzo, meaning uh, gray, the gray monster. Um, so that's where the name came from. It's a uh, like a Loch Ness monster, but this one is uh, this one takes place basically in Italy, in Lake Como. Uh, what else I can say about this bike? What I didn't like about this bike is basically the mirrors. I had to add the uh, mirror extenders. Basically, so I can see I'm uh, pretty tall so uh, and then like the original mirrors were restricting my uh, My side views so I fixed that by just adding I got them on e off eBay and it was perfect a perfect fix um, What else? Uh, braking it comes with Brem Brembo brakes fantastic fantastic braking power but you have to be careful since there is no electronic stability control and there is no ABS you cannot brake very hard the bike will slide and it's slid before I didn't fall thank God but a um, it slid before on me while going downhill so you have to be vigilant all right so right here I'm gonna stop there you go what else I like about this bike okay my brother is calling so I'm gonna pick up hey bonjour frère ça va mon frère on fait quoi moi ça va très bien je suis Vas-y. Ok. C'est quoi Ah ok. Alright. So I got a I got a phone from a phone call from my brother so I just needed to to talk to him a little bit. So we're at Boundary Road and Marine uh, Marine Way. This is basically where Vancouver Vancouver starts. I think it starts a little bit further. Or this is the Boundary Road. But there is a sign that says "Welcome to Vancouver" a bit further down the road. Hopefully we can see it. If not, this is where Vancouver starts. So what I was saying about the Moto Guzzi, aka Bello Grizzo, Mi Amore. This bike is alive. Uh, this bike is not a beginner's bike. My brother loves this bike, but I was uh, I was telling him that I'm riding uh, I'm riding the Grizzo, and he's like, "Yeah, I always see myself in uh, in that bike." But since my brother is a beginner, he's uh, he's fine. He's got a brand new Honda Rebel, and uh, it's a really good bike for anybody at any stage of riding to be honest and he also got a nice color he got that military green color for his uh, rebel uh, so back to the Grizzo the Grizzo there is not a lot of them not a lot of them and and people who buy the Grizzo usually they're they buy it out of love you know this bike is very unique and what I like also about the between 2008 and I think 2012, uh, the factory had a, had some problems with making the engines, the V8s, because that was the first run. And apparently, you need to have some something called rollerizing the engine. Whatever that means, the bike basically didn't uh, had problems. And the, this engine here, the 1100, was a solid engine and it's still a solid engine. Uh, all you need to do is basically your maintenance, oil change and, and shaft drive. And also I forgot to mention this is a shaft drive, not a chain drive, which makes this bike extremely, extremely uh, nice, responsive. Hey, look at this uh, Alaskan, Alaskan Wolf. Uh, 
Well, that's an interesting... How you like my meat now? Well, that's an interesting... Uh, what I was saying is... This engine is solid, so all you need to do is basically change your liquids. And you're good to go. Your regular maintenance, tires, there's no chain to lube, so you have to change the cark. The shaft drive, they call it the cark system. And uh, that's about it, pretty much. Alright. Beautiful day today in Vancouver. Temperature, we're looking at 20 degrees. We're gonna have a max of 24 today. There is a little bit of forest fires towards the Whistler area, so uh, it's a bit hazy and smoky. I'm gonna focus a little bit on riding and I'll uh, I'll, go, I'll turn the camera on once I get to downtown all right it's about 13 minutes past noon on a Saturday morning I'm on Canby and 33rd Avenue so um, uh, I would say that I'm on time I should meet my buddy at 1230 is a Tiger Triumph uh, I rode this bike in 2014 across Hokkaido, Hokkaido, Japan. Hokkaido is the Northern Island or the Alaska of Japan. It's a beautiful place if you want to ride in Japan. It's probably the best place in Japan to ride. And then after that, Kyushu probably. All right, uh, it's about 12.23, my buddy just called me and, and he's gonna be late, so we're gonna be on time, no rush. Uh, we are at Broadway and Canby. So, uh, facing the mountains, that's north. To my right, to your right of your screen, is east. To the left is west, and then behind me is south, of course. And then sometimes you can just look at the sun. The sun is behind me, we're in the northern hemisphere. So, you know, we are in in uh, we are facing north so it's a it's a quick trick that I do and I'm really confused um, so Vancouver beautiful summers beautiful summers in Vancouver I love this city well it's gotten uh, it's kind of bit crazy expensive it's always expensive compared to other cities in uh, in North America but it's gone out of control after the pandemic and this is the Canby Street Bridge so we're gonna cross the bridge and then uh, we're gonna be in downtown downtown looks like a small peninsula sticking out And currently it's about 23, 22 Celsius. Welcome to Vancouver. So uh, we're going to be making a left, meaning we're going to go west on Pacific Boulevard. And I'm honestly craving a delicious croissant. So I might get there and call my buddy and say, hey, I'm at the, I'm at the bakery that you showed me and you made me a, a croissant monster. So I might go there. So yeah, that's a good idea. I might do that. Ah, Alright. It's a strange weather today. It's gonna look hazy because of the forest fires. Not super hot. Hop on, hop off bus. 
Yes. All right. Need to be on the left. Yeah, you know what? No need to be on the left. I'm gonna go to the. Yeah, I actually need to be on the left. This is tricky. Always tricky. Let's see. Thank you. So I think what I'm gonna do. So instead of going to that same spot, I'm gonna go to uh, DV and make a right and then go go have coffee and wait for my buddy. That's, uh, that's what I'm gonna do. I doubt they're gonna have any croissant left, especially the chocolate ones, they always run out. So uh, I'm just gonna get a regular croissant. Bakery. It's the next block, I think. If I remember correctly. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. All right. Is this it? It is. It is. It is. 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. We're gonna do that. 